Hi, I'm Lance King, and today I want to show you how to take effective social action. So this is essentially the structure you need for a CAS project, a project where you need to identify a need in the community and then create an action plan to address that need and then take action and carry out your plan. So first we go to the exercise in the in Lalatat. So if you're on the MYP portal, this is, exercise is only found in the DP portal. So we go up here, we click up here, we bring up portals, we open up the DP portal, and we open up social skills, and there it is there, 2C, social action. So you see there's three parts to it, so we'll go straight to that. This is the necessary skill you will need to use social action. To alleviate a social need and make a difference in people's lives. So it starts with exercise one, re recognizing social needs. Most social needs come from an unequal distribution of resources. And I'm sure in every society, including your own, you can probably find people who are disadvantaged because they have fewer resources like food, clothing or shelter than other people. You can probably also find resources that are wasted, food thrown out of restaurants, waste packaging material, out-of-date computer gear. And the third part of this is you can probably also find areas where resources are in scarce supply, where clean water, clean air or well-organized environments are a scarcity. So you've, in many of your subjects, you have studied um, ethical ethics and the distribution of resources and what this first part of this um, strand requires you to do is to apply ethical principles to your own environment and notice where disadvantage occurs. So I suggest the first step you do is you set up a small group and you decide to take action to work on a social project. So think about your town or your city and see how many examples of social needs, wasted resources and scarce resources you can come up with and fill in the appropriate table. What people are disadvantaged? What do they need? What resources are wasted in your environment and where are they found? And what resources are in scarce supply in other areas in your environment and where are they needed? And this table can be expanded as necessary. This will take some time to do this analysis, so this is probably a good place to put in a pause. Okay then, now we move to exercise two, generating ideas for social action. So having identified needs and resources, now you've got to come up with creative ways to link these things up. And so what you want to do is, this is the preparation stage, and it starts with redistribution. Can you think of any possible ways to match up one wasted resource identified above with one area of need? If so, write it in here. Can you think of any resources or possible places to find resources necessary to meet needs that you have identified? And lastly, can you think of any creative ways to use wasted resources to overcome scarcity of resources or to meet the needs of a particular group of disadvantaged people? This will also take a little time, so it's probably a good place to put in another pause. And now we move to exercise three. Take action to address a social need. So what you've got to do is you've got to take your best, most practical idea from exercise two, and working in your group, follow these steps to work out and implement a plan to achieve your goal. So first little box there, write in the goal. What is it that you want to do? How are you going to address the social need and what are you actually going to do to do it? What will, how will you know when you have achieved it? Then you break that goal down into steps. The steps you need to take in order are, you list the steps there. A deadline, create a deadline for each step and put in a deadline there. Put in the resources you will need for each step here and where you will source the resources for each step here. Then do it. Organize, delegate and implement your plan. Start with step one. And as you work through each step, make sure you reflect on any problems and obstacles you encounter and what your solutions are for overcoming each one in this table. Step one was the unplanned obstacles or problems you came across were, the solutions you're going to try out, the result that you got, and your conclusion, 
And maybe that will, the conclusion will say that actually step one was not appropriate and we need to change step one and put in a different step. And remember that taking effective action, social action, is not easy. If it was easy, social needs would not exist. But remember that any action you can take to meet a resource need or alleviate any person's suffering is always worth trying. So this project will not be easy and it won't take just um, an hour or two to do. This is a big project, but it's always worth doing to um, alleviate social needs and help ease any person's suffering. So I hope this gives you a nice framework to work through a CAS project. Thank you. Goodbye.